What's hey, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> oh, you know, just chilling on a Sunday, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> how about you? How how you doing? I'm I'm good. I wasn't feeling too well yesterday, but you know, I'm a little better. I'm out here in Houston, so we actually had a winter storm like a week and a half ago. Yeah, and I it was think crazy. Now, yeah, and I think now that it's getting hot again, like my body is like it's weird. So I wasn't feeling well at all. And yeah, I, I was praying for y'all because thank, it, thank you. like we needed it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's so crazy you say that before it really got bad. Mm -hmm. I know a friend down there and I was they were talking about it. it was only like an inch of snow, but it was so cold. Yeah. And it it's before. Freezing. Yeah, that's before it really got like bad with turning off the electric and yes. pipes were burst. And it's before exactly. that hit. It was like the day before. And yeah, I was like, oh, come on. You could pull through and then. <laughs> It, it, it was tough because actually like where I was staying too, my pipes busted. So a lot of people's homes were ruined and still are ruined. Yeah. Some people don't even have water still. So, you know, it's just, it, it was a bad situation, but we're all getting through it. So Yeah, it's crazy. I, I would have never thought, but I guess you just never know with the world today. and Exactly. Climate change. Yeah. Crazy. Ex yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, crazy. <laughs> but, you know, first I want to start off with, you know, um, quarantine. It, it's crazy. Tomorrow's March 1st. Mm -hmm. And it'll be hitting one year quarantine in like two weeks, which crazy. Yeah, so crazy. Um, what were your first thoughts on the whole thing in the beginning? Like, did you think we we're going to open up right away? Did you think it was be forever? What did you think? I did. I honestly thought I was like, okay, um, they're going to get you know us a vaccine out, or <laughs> you know certain places will have precautions, and we'll just go back you know to normal. And no, that 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 still <laughs> happened. <laughs> <laughs> we're still wearing masks so I, I often wonder I'm like is this the new normal like when are we going to stop having to wear masks that's what I, I really want to know yeah it, it's weird with the mask because you just can't it see is. anyone like I, I hate you, it yeah, I can't breathe like, that's my thing I can't breathe with it on yeah like I just I'm get out. claustrophobic I get yes. claustrophobic on a normal day let alone exactly and then, like, I'm in Chicago, so it's extra cold. Oh, okay. Oh, so, God. I mean, I literally got a hat on, a hood, <gasps> the, the mask, you know, a scarf. I'm just like, That's ooh, crazy. This is, See, I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't imagine that. But, yeah, when I, I was out today running errands, and I'm just like, I hate these masks. <laughs> but I understand, got to be healthy, got to be exactly. safe. But I'm like, I can't breathe. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, like, what, were, what did you think when it did all happen? Like you said, when you found out it was going to be like, you know, this is going to be a while because – the whole world wow. shut down. And what did you think of like for your career? Because, you know, for the entertainment yeah. industry, it really was, we didn't know it, what was going to happen. We didn't. It, it was, it was very tough, but I do think we're at a point in music, especially where a lot of it is social media and streaming. Mm -hmm. So even though you can't get out there and do those performances, you still have rappers who are very well known who are still making money. Um, I know now they started a new thing where it's a virtual uh, concert. I think Rolling Loud, yeah. a virtual concert. So, you know, mm -hmm. there's always ways to still go after something that you're passionate about. But of course, when it first hit, I wasn't going to the studio. I was like, let me just stay home, um, yeah. really just so I can gauge this situation. Um, but yeah, can't, you know, we can't stop living all together. So yeah, definitely. But you know, like you said, um, well, growing up, you know, you grew up in the industry. Because mm -hmm. regardless of what exact, you know, sports, music, right. acting, reality, it's all kind of, everyone Same. knows everyone. Yeah. <laughs> everyone knows everyone some way, right. somehow. Yeah. Um, growing up, what, what were the pros for you growing up with being, you know, having a family in the industry, mm -hmm. in the industry and the cons, would you say? Um, I could definitely start with, with the cons first. Mm -hmm. um, just me, it, it was kind of like, Tammy Roman's daughter is always yeah. what I heard. So when I started to get more serious in music, I was like, oh my gosh, are, are people ever going to see me as Jazz Anderson? Mm -hmm. um, you know, the more I put in the work and things of that nature, now I kind of getting that name for myself. But at first that was very tough. Um, and a pro of it is like, I don't look at it like, oh, Tammy Roman is on tv that's my mom yeah me. so <laughs> I mean, she's always there for me always supportive so for me that that's that's a pro <laughs> dope dope yeah and you know what one, one thing i really love about you that when the mix started mm -hmm. i didn't put two and two together oh wow so See, i just liked dope. you and like i knew who you i, I just didn't put I, it you know, sometimes you don't yeah. like i knew exactly who you were but when you yeah. were on, i was like 
oh, who's she? Like, I like her. I'm like, I like her personality. She's <laughs> dope. You. Like, Thank she's you. a breath of fresh air. But I knew <laughs> you from basketball wise. Like, so it's crazy. Like, how yeah. that happened. Like, I didn't know. And I was like, then I put two and two together finally. I was like, right. Oh, that's. But that's you. Jam- it's crazy because I some people will say, oh, my God, I watched you grow up on TV, where others will do just what you did. Like, oh, my gosh, I didn't even put two and two together. So I think that just came with me doing more in my career, you know, like how I did the BET Cypher mm-hmm. in um, 2019. When I did that, it was totally different. Then it became, OK, that's Jazz Anderson. Yes. Um, so I think just the more I expand and grow with my career and, you know, do more things and get more opportunities, it'll distance the, the Tammy Roman's daughter. <laughs> <It's>, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're doing a good job, job of it because, <laughs> Thank you. like, one thing I'll tell you, you know, quarantine, it's been tough on us all. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, The Mix is one of the biggest shows kind of, like, for the millennials. Yeah. And that, it, it yeah is. That's what I always say. Like, it's, I think the show is just a breath of fresh air because it's a millennial and Gen Z talk show. And for me, when I was growing up, I never really watched talk shows because I feel like I couldn't relate to them. Mm-hmm. I even felt like it was, like, the, the ladies I were watching were so much older than me that I felt like it was my mom telling me something <laughs> <laughs> or I didn't see my color at all. So for me, yeah. it was kind of like, can I relate to this? So I think that's what the mix has brought um, on Fox. Soul. it's just five different um, co-hosts, myself, mm-hmm. Romeo Miller, Zanique, Anton Peoples, Jamie DuBose. And we all have different perspectives and point of views, but we could speak to our age group and older as well. Yes, that's so I what I love about it. There. Yeah, that's what I really like because it's so (laughs) like like you said. Yeah, I watched shows when I was younger, but like you said, you couldn't relate. It was just you kind of watched it because Mm -hmm. you know it was who could you say like Oprah Winfrey? Exactly. She was just a someone that we all knew watching growing up, but we couldn't relate our age because it's just you know just different. (laughs) (laughs) But it's so refreshing and like it's doing good and like you are doing it. Like yeah, I'm so happy. (laughs) Like something positive because so much negative, you know, with you know, police brutality and then Corona exactly. and it was and you, just something and you, good. And the cool thing about the show as well is like, it's, we're not filled, we're not filtered to a certain degree. So how you mm-hmm. said, like, we're talking about Black Lives Matter, um, you know, when George Floyd, God rest his soul, had, had died. Um, mm-hmm. I was out here in Houston, Houston, Texas. So we spoke about that on the show and how, you know, people were protesting and uh, we'll talk, we'll talk about COVID, you know, so we talk about it all. And then we'll even give you some, some tea. We'll give you some gossip. <laughs> and then we'll talk about relationships. So we really hit every mark. And I think yeah. that's another great thing about it as well. No, definitely. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I want to talk about, you know, music, because yeah. I know music's your true passion. That's yeah. your baby. <laughs> you know, in 2020, you know, you dropped the whole project, Se- yeah. Separation Anxiety, and you dropped, yeah. I think, Diary a couple mm-hmm. months before. It was before. like a visual, yep. Yeah. So mm-hmm. how was it? dropping music in quarantine but and you know you got awesome exposure because i feel like people can yeah. really focus to really focus on it yeah mm-hmm. um so with that project i actually dropped it before quarantine even even hit um okay. but i do i do agree with you that then when it hit people were more da- dialed in like when i was yes. visuals and things of that nature then it was like oh well like now i have time i'm at home so wow she's actually pretty dope <laughs> yeah um so yeah i had dropped it before Oh, well, see, hit. and that's mm-hmm. see how great, like, yeah. But I, I, I agree with you that once quarantine hit, the numbers of like um, Apple Music and things of that nature did increase because I think people are just home all day. So, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Now, like you said, you, I know you talked a little bit about the cipher. Mm-hmm. How was that? Like, that's so <sighs> monumental. Yeah, like <laughs> anyone that's a BET fan <laughs> right. knows the ciphers are mm-hmm. just something you, look, you watch like. exactly you look forward to the cypher so for me it was always on my bucket list i feel like any hip-hop artist wants to do the bet cypher yeah. um so that that was a crazy experience for me because i actually use social media again <laughs> to get their attention so i actually put up a video i think it's still on my page and i was like hey tag uh, at bet let them know i'm trying to do the cypher this year and then before i knew it the train just took off took and off. i was getting publicists hitting me up like hey they want you know you for the cypher and and it, it was crazy, honestly. It was surreal. Dope, dope. Yeah, I mm-hmm. want to ask you, too. You know, like you said, uh, Separation Anxiety came out. That was, that was like your first, I guess, full, yeah. full body of work. It was. How was it letting it out? Because like you said, you were dropping singles before right. and, you know, just tracks where this is a full body of work. You know, right. How did it feel? What, did you have anxiety? Were you nervous? How was it for you? I, I did because, you know, it's always different when an artist drops a project because, 
singles, we can get really attached to singles, but now when mm-hmm. you hear that full, full body of work, some people can say, mm, I only like two records out of 12, you know, yeah. and then it, that's not really good. So I was definitely nervous, but at the same time, the people I were working with on that project, um, his name is Vic out in LA, and uh, the engineer I had out in LA, Raul, they were really attentive to the project. Mm-hmm. So um, I think we, we, did a, we did a great job on it. For my first project, I'm very proud of it. Yeah, that's that's super dope, man. Like, yeah. it's such monumental. You know, it's your first, yeah, exactly. your first baby. It's- <laughs> so it's kind of like a stepping stone. Like you set that, and then now it's like, okay, now I'm going to give you this. So it's a, well, yeah. And I want to ask you, you know, your current project you're working mm-hmm. on, the experiment. Mm-hmm. How much is it completed? Are you still tweaking it? <laughs> you know, I know. Yeah. So <laughs> it's probably like most of the music is done. Most of the okay. music is done. So now it's just getting everything to. Once again, it's a body of work, so just making sure everything flows from top to bottom but I think that is going to be a shocker for a lot of my fans um, okay. and supporters and even the doubters because most people haven't seen me in the way that they'll see me on the experiment mm-hmm. in that project they're your so. biggest supporter the haters exactly. are the, yes the, <laughs> exactly <laughs> but, well, I want to ask you you know are you that type of artist that you're so hard on yourself like um, are you like that or how are you in, see, in the I, studio I used to be I used to be but now I'm learning just have fun with it Sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, I'm a cancer, so I overanalyze a lot of things anyway. Um, so I just, when it comes to my artistry, I just have to let it flow. Like now I'm at the point where I'm confident in my artistry. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, let's just have fun and let's make the best records that we can. So no, I'm not overanalyzing things in the studio anymore. But I used to be that artist. Like with separation, <laughs> <laughs> with separation anxiety, I was working on that. I was definitely very hard on myself. But I think as an artist, no matter what you do, entertainment wise, you're going to be your toughest critic. You should be. Yeah. No, like. it's a yeah. good thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. You know, this, um, you know, it's a weird time. Um, also, you know, with dropping an EP, mm. were you nervous? Like, how did you come up with an EP rather than, a, you know, a full LP? Right. It's so weird because EPs are kind of like the new LPs, but then at the same point, people still mm. drop LPs. Yeah. Um, so, so how like, did you come up with that? So for me with uh, Separation Anxiety, it was 12 records on there. Mm-hmm. So I felt like maybe I gave them too much. So I was <laughs> like, you know what, let's, <laughs> let's kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like condense it. To... Yes, let's condense it. So now they're, they're really listening to every track. If you have six records on there, it's not, it's not really any room for skips. You're mm-hmm. probably going to listen to it from top to bottom if it's a solid project. So I was like, let's just condense it and, um, so it's kind of like a, a, a new lane. Not, I don't want to say a new lane. I like to call it the experiment because I'm experimenting with my uh, craft, basically. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a total 180. So I was like, let's just condense it so they can really listen. Dope, dope. Now, did you work with a lot of new people? Did you work with your old team? How was it for you? No, oh, yeah. So since I'm based uh, here in Houston, I'm actually working with rap a lot. And they're great. So everything's pretty much in-house. Um, yeah. And it's just, they're just dope, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And yeah. Do you want to, you know, it, was it hard to narrow it down? Because you said, like, EPs could range yeah. from, I've, I've heard I've, as short as, like, three songs, and the longest I heard is, like, maybe. Can you see me? What, maybe okay. three songs sometimes? Yeah, I can see you. Sorry, yeah. somebody. Oh, you're good. Oh, you're good. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, EPs, they range from, like, the, the shortest, usually, like, three songs through, like, eight, nine songs, I feel. Right. So EP starts at six songs um, most of the time. So mm-hmm. what I like to do, I like to just do more records. So you'll do about 12 records and then you narrow those down. And um, I don't think it's hard when you have a great team that you're working with. You got everybody's opinion. You guys all agree, okay, this should be the six. It's pretty easy. So Dope, dope. And are you going to drop it? Like, is the idea on your birthday? Yeah, so I'm actually, I'm, okay. I'm hoping to drop it in June. Um, that's when everything will pretty much be finalized, visuals and things of that nature. Because I'm also that type of artist. I don't just want to put out a project and then you're waiting three months for a visual. So I kind of- I hate just, that. It's yeah, the worst. I, know, I hate it too. So I just want everything um, ready to go. So yeah, by June, everything should be good. Have you Have you thought of like storyboards and- you know, yep. for your videos and all that already? Yeah, I'm the type of artist, like, when I do a record, if I can't see a video for it, let's scrap it. Um, because I feel like yeah. you should always have a vision. So, you know, you have the words, but now how can you make people see the words? So I'm big, on, I'm big on the visuals. Yeah, no, you know, like, 
by June, we may be more than halfway open, I feel, hopefully. I hope so. <laughs> yes. Like, I really I'm, do. I'm praying, like, because, yeah. Right. I, and, and that was my uh, strategy behind it as well. It's kind of like by summertime, which a lot of the records will, will definitely turn up and go up in the summer. It's like, now I can actually do those performances that I'm, you know, missing out on right now. Yeah. Like, do you, would you still want to do like a virtual concert plus live shows? Like um, what are your ideas? I'm a, I'm a face to face type yeah. person. <laughs> um, so it, it's really not hurting me any that I can't do the visual concerts right now. Cause I don't have any new content. So I'm like, you know what? perfect timing all on god's timing so let me just mm -hmm. wait and then i think by by summer we should be open somewhat yeah i agree shows. with you because those virtual concerts i'm not hating on them it's just yeah. i can't really get into it like i know me like as an artist and as a consumer i just feel like i'm not gonna pay to to, to stream you know i don't know yeah <laughs> like watch it on youtube it's just kind yeah, of yeah i don't yeah, it's not the same experience. And I and that's the type of person I am. I'm very face to face, in your face, want to connect with you. So I'll just wait. Yeah, I want to ask you, did have you gone to any because I didn't I don't know how I agreed. I went to two of them this past summer. Well, twenty twenty really? summer. I went to two uh drive in concerts. Wow, no, I and didn't do that. They were uh, it was yeah. it was I, weird. I, I, yeah, it was weird because people like couldn't it. they couldn't run up to the stage. Like who was right. it? Um the one show was like it was like Bobby V, Pleasure P, That's Lloyd, and Bobby V was like, "Yo, everyone, run!" And security was like screaming. Yeah, no. He was like, "Yo, yo, I'm sorry, like yeah, I didn't no. mean." But it was just so <laughs> weird because like that's a natural response, like, "Yo, come yeah. on, guys, come up!" And exactly. it was such a weird vibe. It just I'm just standing there like, "What is yeah, going I on?" <laughs> yeah, <I would>. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I was curious to see like if you'd be interested in them because I know those were the big like. 2020 show i guess that you could yeah i didn't even know about do. that i thought it was all virtual so for me you know i'm never gonna say i'm not gonna do something you know mm -hmm. but it wouldn't it's not my first choice at all yeah <laughs> no definitely <laughs> I, don't, I don't recommend them. i'll put it that way hey, unless the check's right put it right. like that and if the check's said, right i'm not gonna turn it down but... yeah <laughs> it's a weird vibe though like you said you need that human touching yeah, hands exactly. screaming it's just different <laughs> But did you ever think at such a young age, too, like, you've accomplished a lot. Like, think about it. Like, music, hosting a show, mm -hmm. you know, reality star, not on purpose, really, right. but <laughs> kind of fell into it. And yeah. you haven't been shown in a negative light. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, reality is such a touchy, it is. you know. <laughs> yeah, it is. You never know how you're going to look on yeah. reality TV. That's yeah, true. like, what else is on your bucket list, would you say? Because that's three mm -hmm. huge things already that you're already I, doing. Yeah, but I, I kind of want to keep, I feel like I haven't accomplished what I want to in those fields at all. Yeah. So for me, um, I'm going to keep going, doing those things, but just to a, a higher magnitude. Okay. Yeah. And now, definitely you, music for sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, music, right. your, your baby. Yeah. <laughs> but um, like with reality TV, would you ever want your own show? Like, would you ever want invading that much? Because I know when people have their own show, people say like, yeah, it's my narrative. But at the same point, they see like a lot, you know, yeah. you're kind of laying it all out there I, for the public. I, I definitely would be open to that because now, you know, you're controlling the narrative. So um, I think in, I think it was 2020 or 2019, um, my mom actually had a special on VH1 mm -hmm. called Tammy Ever After, yep. which is very family oriented. I love stuff like that because now I'm controlling the narrative and family is a big part of my life. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I would definitely be on a show that was more personal to who I am. I think, you know, I think my, my supporters and fans would like to see that too. Yeah, no, dope. Yeah, and like you said, you're a little comfortable, you're comfortable with it already, so. Exactly, yeah. yeah so as like... long as you can control the narrative. Um, but you know, uh, something else that my mom told me one time which was great, was they can't use what you don't give them. So. True. And that kind of just always stuck with me when it comes to reality TV. No, definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's some good advice. That's yeah. so true because if you give them it, they're going to take gonna it around with it. it. Yeah. yeah, I mean. Or they can edit it. They can do whatever. So, I mean, if you don't even want to be put in that position, maybe don't say it or maybe don't do it. <laughs> yeah, because the editing is what. Oof. Exactly. <laughs> that's true. I'd be, I don't know how I give you all a lot of credit. Like. I, <laughs> It's, yeah, that is crazy sometimes. Yeah. But um, you know, who music wise, who is on like you gotta have checked off your list 
production wise as well as songwriter wise and then an actual feature okay i think when it comes to um production and songwriting i love what hitmaker is doing out nice. in uh yeah la i think he's so dope his whole team so i would definitely want to work with them on songwriting and production mm -hmm. and then in terms of a feature I, I still want my j cole feature that's something i'm uh -huh. gonna always want <laughs> you gotta just, manifest yeah, yeah you gotta put on the universe <laughs> When it comes to um, female, I've, I'm really becoming a big fan of Tink. I've always been a fan. But yeah, I, ju again, I just seen you post it about yeah, it. Mm -hmm. Once again, I think because of quarantine, now I'm really like doing research. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and um, yeah, I've become a big fan of her this past year. So, so I definitely want to work with her. Yeah. Who would be your dream? You know, they always have, um, you know, I guess there hasn't been a lot. Well, there has been like, you know, Meg and Cardi, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. they did WAP. You know, um, there's a yeah. couple... Who would you want, like, four or five females, who would you want to link up with to put, like, one of those, kind of like a Lady Marmalade, right, yeah, Ladies' yeah. Night type of <laughs> anthem? I definitely, um, I've always been a big Remy Ma fan, so got to oh. throw Remy in the pot. I love what Mulatto's doing right yes. now. Um, uh, we have a female here in Houston named Ken the Man. Definitely oh. would throw her in the pot, so that's three, and then... Huh. I love I love Megan as well. I love what she's okay. doing for H Town. So gotta throw her in the pot. And then um, hmm. I mean, how can I forget Nikki? Like, that's <laughs> right? Yeah, just gotta throw Nikki in the pot. You know what I mean? <laughs> that would be my list for sure. <laughs> did Did you always know growing up that you wanted music? Like, was it something just kind of natural, or did it? Well, I've always loved writing. That's what I was telling okay. you. Writing and poetry was always my favorite. But then when I was would be listening more to rap, you know, Kanye West College Dropout is my favorite album of all time. Classic. Then, yes. yeah, it's a classic. It made me feel like, hmm, I want to be a storyteller like this. I think I could do this too. Because what people don't really know is when you really do rap the right way, it's just poetry on a beat. That's what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So then when I started listening to, you know, Miseducation of Lauryn Hill, I'm like, oh, what i want to be like her too you know so, yeah and then i grew up on missy elliott as well so i saw the creativity the diversity so i think at like 14 years old that's when it really kicked in like i want to do this too this is cool dope dope and mm -hmm. what's what's one thing you've learned you know from being in this industry like you said yeah you're still young and you, you still have a lot more to accomplish but you still accomplish so much Thank you. what's one thing you've learned about yourself that you wish you would have known you know just from experiencing <laughs> Cause... I think I think confidence is, is key. So when I was first getting into the game, I wasn't confident in myself at all. Like I knew I was good, but it's a different level than um, saying, you know, I'm good, acknowledging mm -hmm. you're good and saying, okay, but I'm confident in my artistry. I'm confident in who I am. So I think I always tell people if I was more confident back then to say like, no, I can really do this. I'm really good at this. I can really take over. I'd probably be way more further along. But um, confidence, if whatever you do, you know, even when I played basketball at college level, I wasn't as confident as I could have been because you get yeah. out there, you're with other people who are 10 times better than you. You're worrying about that. Just worry <laughs> about yourself. <laughs> and that's what I realized. Like now at 24, I'm in my lane. I do my thing and I'm just going to create the best content that I can. Dope, dope. Yeah, and I know you went to an event, I think it was two nights ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Out, How was it? Like out here being in, uh, out. Houston, yeah. And uh I went to the fifteen on one certified event for one of their artists and it was uh -huh. it was really dope. It was dope. And people some people were wearing their mask, you know, we had our masks on. <laughs> but did it feel did it feel good? Like just Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. So out here in Houston stuff is open. It for is for the most part, right? Yeah, yeah, for the most part, you just wear your mask. So I'm not gonna say that I've been in the house for a year because that would be a complete <laughs> lie. <laughs> So I, I was out before that night, um, but it, you know, it was a great environment to be around. So, yeah, see, I can't wait for Chicago because we're so really it, it's, still quarantine. Like it's still it's slowly opening up now, like restaurants, oh, wow. but it's with the snow and the cold, everyone's just kind of yeah. Like it's literally anywhere. fifty degrees now, and people are in shorts yeah. today because that's. <laughs> It's like so summer like for us. For yeah, yeah, we're like, whoa, it's shorts and t-shirt time. Like, let's that's go to the beach. Yeah, but <laughs> but it's weird. Like, I know Texas, I feel like Florida and, you know, Georgia opening up. And yeah. open, like you said, they kind of been open. open. Yeah. yeah, so I need you to go. You have to take the, the necessary precautions that, you know, to keep yourself safe, which is something that I do. So Yeah, 
definitely. But, you know, let's go back. I want to talk about to the mix. Mm -hmm. You know, when you got the call or, you know, we were deciding on joining and, you know, building that brand, mm -hmm. were you nervous? What were your, you know? Yeah. So, you know, for me coming from the reality TV mm -hmm. world, I was like, okay, well, now I'm a co-host of something where people are really going to hear my opinion on things and my perspective on things, which everybody is not going to agree with. So yep. that did scare me at first. But once again, I got some great advice from my mom, you know, just be true to who to who you are and your views. And then you can always explain. You can always explain. But once you're saying things that you don't really mean or you don't really believe, then you'll get caught up in a whirlwind of stuff. So as for me, since I've first been on the show to now, I've always said how I felt and can back it up. <laughs> yeah. So, so I haven't really had any run-ins or issues with that. Yeah, that's good. That's awesome you say that because I feel, you know, the, the you know, the shade rooms, the neighborhood talks, mm -hmm. the you know, Hollywood Unlocked, it, yeah. it's, it, it's exhausting. You know what I'm we saying? Actually like, had, um, we actually had Kyle from the Neighborhood Talk on one of our episodes. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, so it, it's, it's yeah. crazy like how, you know, yes, you could be talked about, but at the same mm -hmm. point, they're your colleagues, you know? Like, right. it, it's weird. It, it's like a weird, you know, inter yeah. intertwine, I guess you would yeah. say. Um, like, were you nervous of anything like that? Because sometimes the blogs just go crazy. Like me, I'm not someone that I don't like the gossip. I right. I rather ask you, you know, yeah. let's just straight up talk. Like, why do we yeah. have to talk? Why am I going to talk about you behind your back when I could literally set up right. an interview with you? You know, I, like honestly, I, I can say I haven't really been in that position because when when the blogs did pick up things I said, it was something that I was comfortable with them that's, putting that's out awesome. there anyway. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. something that I was like, oh my god, oh my god, how do I explain this? It wasn't that moment for me, so. Really, I don't really have run-ins like that with the blogs because I, I really just say how I feel. Yeah, you say how you feel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's a good... Yeah, because that's why I'd be nervous. Like, oh, I don't no. know. It's just... <laughs> ugh, the cutthroat. Get, yeah, it can get misconstrued, though. But, yeah, no, luckily I haven't run into that yet. So, you know, yeah. I know you've opened for so many dope people already. Mm -hmm. um, who, you know, like, I guess with this new project, like you said, hopefully it's open. Yeah. Um, do you want to do like some kind of tour for it or would you want to like support someone right now? What do you feel? Yeah. Um, I, you know, I want to do all that with the project. I want the, the project to, to, um, be my biggest one yet. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. so for me, the touring, the, um, listening parties, the events like that, we're going to do all that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and I love your rock in Houston, like, cause so many people, <laughs> You know, yeah. so many people jump to L.A., and I get it. You yeah. jump to L.A., you jump to New York, you jump yeah. to Atlanta because it's the – like, Chicago's not even yeah. anymore. Houston, we have a lot of great talent out here. Yeah. Um, you got and huge was, talent. Yeah, we have huge talent. And I was born and raised in L.A., so it's like – it's. All, I'm always going to be an L.A. girl, but where, where I really started to say, you know what, okay, I want to – because I've always done music, so I don't want this yeah. to be misconstrued, but really the support here that I've gotten – I was like, okay, I'm I'm rocking with Houston. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's why I feel, it's that more family bond. Yeah. I feel family and friend bond in yeah, exactly. Houston, LA. I lived there for a year. It's um, it, yeah. I like it for work. You're right. I like that. <laughs> LA, for work and networking, it's amazing. Yeah, it's it I'm not gonna hate on it because <laughs> that's what it's there for. And yeah. for business, like there's endless you know things. So Fair. yeah, but um, who who would you want to do a collab tour with or who would you like to open up for still mm. that that you haven't already because you've huh. opened for a lot of dope people i think i feel like females are running the game right now so any yeah. tour when this project comes out that i can hop on with a dope female um rapper or even singer wise because i know when i opened for monica i had a lot of fun at that mm -hmm. uh, festival so soul singer or if you do rap music any artist that's dope i would i would definitely you know hop on it so I, right now i can't really think of like putting together my own tour of who just, i would want on it but <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure it'll come it'll happen yeah and what do you think of the whole um versus you know versus is like the yeah. new it's the new thing you know it's there was thing. one last night like d'angelo and friends yeah, um, you know, he, I got the he, he wasn't versus anybody, right? He was just so well, old. it was a versus, but it, yeah, it was just him. It was him. Yeah, yeah it, was, like, so. it was different. It was something new. <laughs> yeah, it was you know. different. Um, <laughs> I like it though, I, but I feel like artists should be celebrated. So, like, mm -hmm. I don't look at it as a competition. So Me neither. Yeah. When, um, 
when they had Keisha Cole and Ashanti, I loved that one. So I would like people keep score and all that. I wasn't doing that. I was rocking out to, to both artists when they went. So I love the idea, but I think people should stop looking at it as a competition and more like these are artists that we either all grew up on or all know or all respect. Mm-hmm. So let's just enjoy the music. So Yeah, that's the one thing, like you said, I, I hate that it's a competition. Yeah, like, it's, like, like I kind of wish they didn't use the word versus in a way. Right. Because it's so like there has to be a winner. Yeah, exactly. And it really, it's like you said, it's just celebrating and giving flowers when you're supposed to like while everyone's alive and healthy and you know what i'm saying like we don't do that enough um but you know like you said you want to focus on music Mm -hmm. would you ever want to get into acting would you ever more you know like branch off yeah i think that's that's important like i don't just want to be a rapper or Mm -hmm. a reality star or a co-host you know i want my brand to keep expanding so that's definitely on my list as well Dope, dope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you know, to, you know, I want to take a ball of your time. I know you're busy. Hey, I know you're a busy person. Um, okay. Like, what do you think of the COVID? Like, do you want to get the COVID vaccine? Like, I just got the first one. I, oh, I get did? my second one. Yeah. I, I just want I to, I guess because Chicago's been so closed off, I'm yeah. just like, yo, shoot me up and get me. <laughs> oh, I know that sounds horrible. You know, just give me the shot. Just if that, that means I could travel and I won't yeah. get as sick. I mean, hopefully the second shot, I don't get sick. I don't. Right. We'll see yes. by March 17th if I do. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I just gave in. I just. I'm going to pass on that. But okay. I mean, there's people like you who I can look at and say, that's dope. He got it. Yeah. <laughs> if you tell me he's safe, I'm going to pass on the vaccine. The pa- okay. Yeah. <laughs> I respect it because my sister's the same way. And yeah. my sister's like, nope, I'm good. I'm yeah. like, okay. Well, hey, it's your. <laughs> You're right as a human. You do whatever you want. <laughs> but, you know, my last question, like you said, I know you have the experiment drop in. Um, what else does this year hold for you, would you say? And, you know, and 2022, because I feel like right. people are literally planning for like the next. Yeah. Who would are. ever think that? Like, we'd be planning I'm, for two years. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's not going to be <laughs> For me right now, my my full focus is uh, the experiment and then the mix on Fox Soul every Tuesday. At mm-hmm. 7 p.m. Pacific time, 10 p.m. <laughs> Eastern. Got to plug it real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the experiment in the summer. So those are my two focal points right now. But just like you said, I'm open to anything pretty much when it comes to acting, modeling, whatever opportunities that I see fit my brand um, and that can you know help me get to the next level. I'm definitely open to those. So I never like to put myself in a box or limit myself. But right now, you know, the experiment, my project dropping in the summer and the mix on Fox Soul are my focal points. Your focal points. Well, I want to ask you right away, too, that, like the mix. You've had a lot of dope guests already. Yeah, Who, we do. Yeah, like you've had we do. amazing <laughs> we dope really artists. Yeah, guess. like, and, and it's a kind of a range. It's not just yeah. one yeah. little focus. It's everywhere. Right. Um, who's one guest, like, you're like, yo, we could book... Honestly, if, if, if we could book Kamala Harris, <laughs> I would okay. talk to Kamala. I would love that. Um, if we could book her on the show, just from a political viewpoint and aspect, I would love that. That would be awesome, too, because from that a would... younger crowd mm-hmm. talking exactly. to her. Exactly, exactly. Because it's not done. It's all, like, At our all. parents' age or yep. older, which is no disrespect. It's just, you know, from a younger audience, <laughs> it would be dope to standpoint. hear. Yes. Yeah, it would be super dope. I hope so. <laughs> I hope yeah, that got to happen. happen. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, Jazz, I want to thank you so much. You know, I hope to meet you in the future some way, yeah. somehow. Definitely stay connected. <laughs> we will. We will, um, I'm sure. <laughs> but, yeah, I appreciate you, you know, taking the time. I can't wait to hear the new project, thank you know. You. Stay safe. Stay <laughs> blessed. Thank you. You and... as well. well. you got the vaccine, so you good. <laughs> hey, well, <laughs> we'll see. I mean, hopefully yeah, hopefully by the end of the year, I'm not a mutant or, oh, no. you know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, time will tell, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you know i appreciate you you know hopefully like i said definitely link up when it's yeah, somewhat normal sure. yeah <laughs> thank but, you for uh, having me I appreciate yeah definitely <laughs> i appreciate you well have a good rest of your weekend and you as well. yeah talk soon all right talk soon. <laughs> okay appreciate you